So many incredible opportunities by coming here. I'm always grateful for that. And just like with the bright side of things, there's always been a dark side. And I think there's there's the dark side to all of our lives that for some of us has been in the shadow for years, decades. Some of us were able to talk about it more openly now. Um, for others, we're able to get more help and support when we need it, whether it's through um, you know some methods like therapy or other methods that are equally important through yoga, meditation, prayer, faith, community. Um, and I went through a decade plus of what I say was, was suffering in silence. And a lot of that had to do with just being isolated when I came here and um, being the only visible Muslim Arab in my class and getting bullied for it, getting a lot of crap for it. And um, it made me feel like I wasn't enough. It made me feel like I, my identity wasn't enough and I just started to hate who I fundamentally was. And those identity markers are important. They're not everything, but when you're young, you know, you process things and people tell you things and you just start to think like, you know, I'm not wanted. There's no place for me here. And uh, for me that, you know, ended in a period of my life where I felt like I just did not want to live anymore. And um, my story is one story of many. And millions, millions of people, I know some people will relate here to that story. I know there's millions of others who, you know, from the extreme die by, for example, suicide, to live in silence with depression, with anxiety, with mental health struggles. And um, so, you know, I want to do something about it when I realized that feeling and the actions I was taking to show myself that I didn't want to live anymore. I was like, I need to do something. And so when I was in college, I started to have some conversations with some of my best friends. One of them is here, Danny. And we were like grown men in the library talking about mental health and like tearing up and sharing things that we never thought we would share with other people, especially men. Like we never thought we'd be in a place where we'd have those open conversations. And, um, and at that point, I think the darkness was like inside so much and I was like, I opened it up a little bit and we made space for each other just to share and say, oh, okay, I see you too through your struggle. And like our stories are very different, but we all share that struggle. So we started a company called Floormind to address that, uh, to provide mental health education. Initially, we were just educating ourselves, trying to figure it out. And then we did it for young people across New York City. And then we were getting traction and we we're getting speaking opportunities across the country, across the world. And so what led us here now, we've had so many incredible you know, accomplishments, opportunities, I'm so grateful for it. I realized that part of the work with, with Floromind, uh, being a company that serves uh, youth here, was that we also needed to do something for the most underserved that will never have access to resources. And that is why we started Flora Foundation and the foundation this has been really heavy, I'm sorry. So take a breath if you need to. Um, so on the, on the uplifting side, we started Floor Foundation to help the most underserved communities and to make mental health extremely accessible uh, through innovative ways. So we started with this refugee mental health program. We are starting our first pilot in Greece uh, next month. Yeah. And, yeah, and um, this pilot will provide on the ground programming as well as using technology. We're, we're partnering up with Lady Gaga's foundation, Born This Way Foundation, to integrate um, using technology. We're partnering up with an app called Helping Hand to integrate the World Economic Forum winning mental health for refugees application. We are doing this as an opportunity to help them connect and deal with issues that are extremely, extremely hard. And um, that's why we're here tonight. And all of you showed up in New York City and one of the busiest nights in in the summer, show up to my random some 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 people you know I never met in person. Some people I've met by passing, but a lot of familiar faces. You showed up. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You just coming here already supported the cause, and so round of applause for you all for coming. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Um, so you know we're gonna continue raising money for the program. So far. We've raised about $2,500. This is my first time in the nonprofit space. I've done a lot of for-profit stuff. It was a lot easier on the for-profit side. It was hard, but there was money in spaces. Um, our goal over the next few weeks is to raise $5,000. And so I'm making, I'm extremely uncomfortable to make the ask, but what I realize a lot of the time is it's not about me. And it's about 
the people that we're serving. It's about what this program can do for the refugees. It's about what this program can do after we pilot it and scale it to become a program that helps a lot of people across the world. Um, so we are going to pass around some um, things. If you, so I know a lot of people who came here tonight already donated. So if you did not, or you want to donate more, these cards will be around. Feel free to do that. Should I just pass um, pass one around to every other person? We don't have enough mm -hmm. on a budget. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you want to do, donate, we can do that. And then we're doing the raffle still. So see Shahenda, I don't remember the number. I said ten dollars, fifteen dollars for a raffle for the boat experience. Um, and then I'm just gonna do thank yous, and then I'm gonna tell you about an activity I'm gonna do. And I know we're over on time, so if you need to leave, this is a good time after I close. Say goodbye and head out, all good. Um, so quick thank yous. Thank you so much to Theon. Theon has been on this journey for me for with me for a few weeks now. We've tried to organize multiple events. Venues shut down, my anxiety came in the way. Short timelines. Event planning is hard, y'all. I do not want to do this again, I'm just kidding. Um, so thank you, thank you for coming on. Appreciate you, You've spent so much time with me. Um, Thank you to our sponsor, King Falafel and Ch King King of Falafel and Shawarma in Queens. Check them out. Uh, stop by. Tell them that you have the food here. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Um, thank you to Aziz, who thank you. Yeah, my brother, Aziz, who like he was like, yo, do you need help with anything? And I kid you not, I initially had like a very small speaker that was like this big. <laughs> and I had this weird microphone and I was just gonna do it that way but he pulled through he was just gonna come and join but he chose to pull up and and, uh, and serve in this way so I appreciate you Woo! so much thank, thank you, you. Um, thank you to my family for coming and thank you all for coming and being here tonight I am so 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 grateful we also have an elected official in the house so clap it up she just won her election um, as a judicial delegate yeah, for, Astoria. for Astoria. Andrea, welcome. We're so happy to have you. Um, politics is very hard, as he knows. Um, um, so it's incredible that you showed up tonight. We appreciate you so much. All right, so this is what we're going to do to close out the night. Um, there are these cards that we have right next to Theon. And those cards, you're just going to take a card. Uh, and if you have to leave, it's okay. You can just say goodbye with now take a card. I want you to walk up to someone new, and you're gonna a you're gonna ask the person the question, and you're gonna answer it together. Uh, and uh, if you're hungry, take please take more food. And uh, we have some more drinks. That's it. Any questions? Thank you We're for good? having us. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you, my sister, shouting me out. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's a great night. Thank okay. you so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>